In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isAlpha function in C to check to see if a character is alphabetic or not. So the function is included inside the C-type library. So the first thing we'll do is include that library. We'll have here include and then C-type.h. So the alphabetic characters are the characters uppercase A to uppercase Z and lowercase a to lowercase z. All other characters are not alphabetic characters. So the is alpha function is going to return true if it's past an alphabetic character, otherwise it's going to return false. We'll declare a car variable c to test out the function and we'll assign to it the character uppercase t, which is an alphabetic character. Then we'll call the function and pass it c. So we'll have if is alpha when it's past c returns true then we'll output percent c to open the character is an alphabetic character followed by a new line and we'll output c otherwise we'll output here percent c is not an alphabetic character and we'll have a new line and we'll output C. So we can save compile and run the program and we'll get that uppercase T is an alphabetic character, which is correct. What if we had here though, two instead? Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get that two is not an alphabetic character because two is a digit. We could have something like a punctuation mark here, like a comma, and again, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get that comma is not an alphabetic character because it's a punctuation mark. We could also pass the function a character that's part of a string of characters. So for example, we could have here car s is equal to, and we'll have a string with words in it. Now each character in the string is at an index in the car array s. So for example, this character here, uppercase A, is at the index 0. This base character here is at the index 1. This S character here is at the index 2, and so on, for the rest of the characters in the string. We could then pass the is alpha function S at the index 2, which is going to pass to the function this lowercase s character here. We'll copy this and paste it here and here, because this is the character that we're now passing to the function. So we'll save our program and compile it and test it out. And now we get S is an alphabetic character. What if we passed in S at the index one? That's going to be this space character here, which is not alphabetic. We'll change these again, and then we'll save compile and run the program and we get that space is not an alphabetic character. Now in C, the int value zero is considered false and any non-zero int value is considered true. So technically what the function returns is a non-zero int value in the case that the character is alphabetic and zero if the character is not alphabetic. So this is how we can use the is alpha function in C to check if a character is alphabetic or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.